kill your appetite when Jax gets home and Michael gets back. We're going to have a special dinner, okay? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Special dinner. Special announcement. Um, everything's perfect. No one knows, but I really want you to know. I'm pregnant. You know how Jax and I were trying to have a baby. Yeah, I know what well, a pain in the neck you were when you weren't succeeding. More like a monster, okay? Excuse me for wanting you to claim your son with Elizabeth. I'm sorry. Here we go. No, I won't start. I won't start. You know, I just wanted to tell you. I wanted so badly to tell you. We haven't even told the boys yet. We kind of wanted to sit with it for a while. I'm happy for you. Thank you. That means a lot to me. When did you find out? Well, I first officially found out the night of that horrible storm. That's why I'm thinking, for the baby's room, I'm going for sunny yellow. You know, whether it's a boy or a girl. Jax swears it's going to be a girl. But you know, when I was driving down the road and the rain was pouring and I'm reaching for my cell phone, I'm thinking, boy, was boy, that, boy. Was that why, was while boy. you were driving? Yes, please don't give me a lecture. Jack, sorry, talk to me. I'm fine. Well, that that was fine. the night Sam got hit. Telling you, sharing with you the, the happiest news, and you're going to ruin it by bringing up Sam? I know you and Jax wanted to have a baby. I'm not here to try to spoil that, Carly. I'm not trying to ruin anything. I just need to know. How do you know Sam didn't hire someone to run her over for the publicity? She's fine. She will live another day to shoot another episode of Everyday Heroes. And who knows, maybe tell us how we can combat a home invasion of aliens with what? Okay. Duct tape and, and, and spray start. Carly, it was raining. You said you were distracted. You are what? accusing me of hitting Sam. Yeah. Yes, you are. And I'm standing here with you, my best friend. I'm sharing with you news that, that makes me so happy. And I want you to be happy for me. And instead, you're ruining it by bringing up Sam. Why do you sound guiltier with every word you say? You want me to be guilty? No, I, I'm... I'm just saying I can see how it happened. Okay, so either I just plain out hate Sam, or I'm so selfish that I'm going to hit her, run her over, leave so I can well, get home to share my great news with Jack. Not deliberately, but I know how you are. I know how you get. Things happen, and they snowball into something that... And I you know, know I you. What really... the hell's going on? Oh, let me guess. Kate Howard was shot, and Sonny's freaking out? Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. And he knows that you and Jax were at the scene, and Jax heard a shot. So he sent you out to get information and take down whoever fired it? That's why you're here. So you can talk to me and get some information to help you? But now we're talking about Sam. Why is that? Text message killer attacked Sam that night, ran her into the road. Okay? Whoever hit her may, may have seen something for me to go on. This guy killed my sister and he tried to kill you, Carly. You're not exactly lying, but you're not exactly telling the truth either. Maybe you already know who hit Sam. And you're looking for other options. Let's say I did it. Would you cover for me? You were in an accident. Which bumper? Passenger or driver? Wrong answer. Why don't you go? You'd rather sit here and talk about Sam's accident than, you know, celebrate my wonderful news yeah, I, with me. Okay, I already know. You already know what, Jason? Passenger side. Whatever you hit, Carly. I didn't hit Sam. My God, I didn't hit her. I was driving down the road and it was raining and I was trying to call Jax to tell him about our baby. And I hit a pothole or something. I swerved and I scraped the bumper. So I took the car to the shop to get it fixed. Now, can we stop? Can we drop this? If not, you should just go. Fine. Does the Sonny know about... No, we haven't even told the boys. I am happy for you. Not as happy as I would have been if you would have told me about Jake. Yeah, see, why, why do you have to do that? Because you know why. Well, stop acting like you don't. I mean, stop acting like your children have never been in danger because of who Sonny is, and they're not going to be in danger again. Yeah, but the difference is I would not have them with me. Loving them. And taking care of them just to keep them safe, Jason. Of 
I've watched you with Michael and Morgan, and now I get to watch you with their little brother or their little sister? I want to watch you with your child. I want pictures of you with him. I want memories of that. And Jake's going to want them too. But they're not going to be there. And one day when he looks at his father, he's going to see a complete stranger. When the truth comes out, and you know what, you can bet it's going to happen. He's going to find out. And he's going to look at you, and he's going to wonder what could have been. And so will you. I'm sorry, I just absolutely hate that you were robbed of this feeling that I have right now. Knowing that I created a life and that I get to share that life, I hate that, Jason. I can't go around feeling robbed. How do you feel? What are you feeling? I haven't made a sacrifice. A sacrifice for the good. Good for who? The baby or Elizabeth? I gotta go back to work now. Okay, before you go, you have to do me a favor. What? You have to. You want me to take a picture? You know what? I want the first picture of you, me, and baby. Hold this. You can tell me about case shooting? Try and smile just this one time for me, please. Okay. Smile. You know I'm not gonna smile. Are you going to tell me about Kate Judy? Let me Judy? check it first. Let me check it first. You're so good. Okay, Carly. Okay, Kate, yeah, sorry. Go. I was at the Taylor building, and I got queasy and dizzy, and I passed out. The next thing I know, Jax was waking me up, telling me that he had heard gunshots. He wanted to go check it out and see what was going on, but I was afraid. I asked him to take me home and said he took me to General Hospital. Dr. Lee checked me out, said everything was fine. Came back home. End of story. Okay. Well, I got to go and keep looking. You look tired, and you look worried. You're not going to share your problems with me, though. Uh, you get your own baby to worry about. Mm -hmm. I do. And I know I'm not going to do anything careless or stupid to ruin it. Hey, Max, come in. Is Michael home? Is Michael home? You were supposed to pick him up. Well, I, I waited for him, and he never came out. When I went in to get him, they said Michael never showed up for practice today. <laughs> You don't come near a gun. That's fine. You swear to me? If I ever see you with your hands in your gun, you better turn and keep running. No. Myla, stop what you're doing. Go to the park and you call me immediately. Okay, Milo is headed over to the park. See if Michael's there. Morgan said Michael never said a word about skipping practice. And Milo said Michael hasn't been anywhere near the house since this afternoon. <sighs> Quietly spread the word. Mrs. C, don't worry. He's probably over to a friend's mm -hmm. house. He just, you know, probably forgot to call, okay? What if he's not? That, but then we're going to find him. Jason. Okay, listen. <sighs> the best thing you can do right now is just think of every place Michael may have gone, and I'm going to check it out. Do not start freaking out. Not yet. Okay. Hey. What's going on? Michael's missing. 